Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ina. In today's video, I'll be walking through the process of uh, connecting to a Kali Linux machine remotely from a Windows command prompt or from a Windows uh, uh, PowerShell. Now, there are two main ways that you can remotely connect to a Linux machine, a Linux uh, server. One of the ways is to use like a SSH client, such as a PuTTY or Secure CRT. And another way is to connect via a command prompt or a terminal. So let's say, for instance, you're, you're trying to connect from a Mac or you're trying to connect from a Linux machine, you have the option of using a terminal. And then from the terminal, you can use SSH. Now, we also have this option in uh, Windows 10. Windows 10 comes with um, the SSH client, which we can use to remotely connect to um, a Linux machine. Now, the first thing we need to do before we can uh, remotely connect to a machine is we need to determine its IP address. Now, I'll be connecting to a, a Kali Linux machine. I'm already, I'm already logged into it and I have the terminal open. In order to determine the IP address, uh, the command to use is IP address. And then here you see we have two IP addresses. This is the loopback. That's not what we need. We need the IP address for the interface it's it zero. And this is the IP right here, 172.16.1.13. Now that we know the IP address, the next thing we need to do is to make sure we can actually reach it. And we can test this using ping from the machine we'll be using to do the connection. So you can, op you can open a, a PowerShell window or you can open a, a command prompt window. I'll open PowerShell. Now this is our Windows 10 machine that, that I'll be using to remotely connect to the Kali Linux machine. To test, uh, I'll ping that IP, which is 172.16.1.13. As you can see here, we have a successful ping, which means we can remotely reach that machine. Now, the next thing to do here is to verify that SSH is running on the uh, remote machine. So on this Kali Linux machine, in order to verify the status of the SSH services, we'll use a command called, we'll say sudo service SSH status. And then what you're looking for here is, it should say it's active and then Another thing you can do to check if it's active or if the port are uh, listening on port 22, you can try to tell net to the local host, which is this machine. Local host on port, port 22, which is for SSH. If you don't get any errors, instead we are getting the version of uh, open SSH, which means it's listening. When you run the, uh, the, the sudo service SSH status command and it says that it's inactive, what, I'll show you one of the error messages you could get. So you could get something like this saying that it's inactive or dead. In that case, what you need to do is to run the uh, sudo service SSH restart command. So you need to run SSH and then you'll need to do a restart. And that should fix the, the, the issue. Okay, now since we verified that the uh, services, SSH services are running and we have the IP address, we'll open a command prompt. You can either use a command prompt or you can use a PowerShell. I'll go ahead and expand this. Now the command to uh, SSH to the Kali Linux machine is uh, SSH. Then the name configured on the of a user configured on uh, Kali, and then the IP address 172.16.1.13. Now press enter, and then here, if it's the first time you're connecting to the this machine, you receive a message asking to accept the um, the host key. We'll say yes here. Then it's going to ask you for the password. And as you can see, we are logged into the Kali Linux machine. I 
I'll check the IP address and it's the 172.16.1.13. So that's how you can use the inbuilt SSH client on a Windows 10 to connect to a Kali Linux machine remotely. So I hope this information has been useful. I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks. Bye.